since 2002, the economy of Africa, if Africa would be, you know, one big country, which clearly it is not, but if it would have been, it actually has traveled. And looking at it from that perspective, more than 50% of the countries now in Africa actually have joined the lower middle income bands in terms of GDP per capita. There's a thinking that, look, a lot of people think, oh, Africa is that dark continent. And the concept of a dark continent is a backward continent. If you think that way, you're in the dark ages. The digital gap has been breached in Africa long. I mean, South Africa. South Africa probably has faster high-speed internet than you'll have in UK. More than 70 million people in Nigeria have a smartphone. That's bigger than the UK population. We are 54 countries, and I mean 54 very different countries. And the guy who comes to South Africa and the guy who comes to Morocco thinks, oh, I know Africa well. And he tells you, I've worked in Africa for five years. It's all bullshit. You've not worked in Africa. Because we are fundamentally very, very different. If you're going to be successful in Africa, you need to be conscious of the culture of the people. There are different countries in Africa that look similar in orientation, but when you dig deeper, just beneath the surface, you discover there are fundamental differences. If you're going to succeed in Africa, you need to understand Africa. You need to understand the nuances. You need to understand who we are. I need to shape plans with African insights the most important segment right now, the youth market. The youth in Africa is the same as the youth anywhere else in the world. They want the same things. And unless we get the right kind of people who want to impart knowledge and develop talent in what we call our African continent today, we'll be doing a disservice to our organizations and to the continent at large. I think knowledge sharing is weak um, across Africa. And I think that's what the WFA one strength WFA will have is to how do you bridge the knowledge gap? There's so much information in Africa.